The next big habit of early risers is journaling, writing something down different each day. Now, if you're like me, you're not great at this. Now, some, like I said, are really good at this. Um, you know, they write pages and pages. They've been doing it for a long time. Diary writing, you know, you think of Diary of Anne Frank. Um, you know, this is a common practice for a long period of time, and I think we've gotten worse at it over time as humans. But uh, it's still a good practice, and really it's about the chance to reflect. Now, again, like, you, like I said, if you're like me, you might not be great at this, and the idea of journaling doesn't really grab you. It certainly didn't grab me when I first started it. And I'll confess to you that it's, um, it's still not a huge part of my morning, but it is now a consistent part. And there's times when I actually really appreciate it, because I don't spend enough time reflecting on things. And so this has given me that chance to. I still don't write a lot. Usually it's a, a single paragraph, sometimes two. Um, I can't think of the last time that I got to three paragraphs. Um, but again, depending on the type of person you are, you may really enjoy this. You may enjoy the chance to reflect. You may find yourself writing more and more. And if that's the case, you may need to give yourself more time. I typically are only giving myself, you know, between three and five minutes to journal because I'm done. And that's fine, but it is a consistent way to do um, some reflection. It's also a good place to write down what you're thankful for. Um, because, again, I think thankfulness and gratefulness really changes our attitudes in life and helps us uh, in all aspects of our lives. So it's just a chance to actually write it down. Like I said before, in the way that writing down your kind of personal goals and mission, there's power in writing things down. There's power in writing things down in this way, too, of being thankful and reflecting on things. And there's been times when I've been journaling and perhaps have said, I've been thankful for something or just reflecting that I come to a, a new insight. And even in that four minutes of writing a single paragraph, something has uh, hit me that I uh, wouldn't have realized if I didn't take the time to stop and reflect and write it down. And so it's been really helpful for that. Again, like I said, I don't spend a lot of time and I don't write a lot either in the way that some people do, but you may be like that or you may not. Another great thing for journaling that I like is motivating myself. Sometimes uh, people need to give you, know, give you a kick in the pants and oftentimes the best person to do that is yourself. So Journaling is that chance again to uh, writing it down helps it helps me to put it into action just to say, you know, Danny, you know, you didn't do great yesterday at counting your calories. Come on, get it together, buddy. Um, you know, that type of thing, motivating yourself, reminding yourself of the goals and why you're doing it, all that kind of stuff. This is a great place just to write that down day by day or to give yourself a pat on the back and say, man, I did really good yesterday, or man, that, you know, I, I can't believe I made it through that new workout or, or whatever it might be. Uh, this is a good chance to, you know, self speak. Now, I also want to give you some tips on some tools that can help you with journaling. The first one is a uh, really uh, popular right now. It's called the five minute journal. So five minute journal.com is the place you can buy it. And it's a hard copy, but it also now has an app version as well, the 5-Minute Journal. And the reason that people have really liked this is this is for the type of person that, that just can't see themselves having a blank piece of paper in front of them and just writing. So it's actually very structured. It asks you to answer kind of certain questions. It's a very short 5-Minute Journal. That means five minutes for the whole day, but it does structure it for a morning and an evening uh, reflection. And it's just asking, it's, you know, just a few blank lines. You can see an example. If you go to that website, you'll see what it's like. But this has become a very popular journal uh, for people who just want to journal, want to have that practice of reflection, but just can't see themselves writing in, you know, a more blank space type of environment. Um, so that's the 5minutejournal.com. Myself, uh, I prefer the blank option because I don't find it hard to do some reflection and some thankfulness and that type of thing. So I use an app called Day One and I use it on my tablet because my tablet is kind of the center of my morning routine and that it's got my timer on it. It's where I read my Bible, uh, sometimes where I'm reading my book, and of course it's where I have my journal. So dayoneapp.com, it's available across platforms, 
and uh, this is just a really nice simple interface you know you just hit the add button it records the day for you you can add as much or as little as you want you see some people take pictures and and use this you know for virtually um, everything in life they they catalog you know like you see there they catalog uh, when they go on vacation or things that they did all through the day all of that stuff for me it's just my simple journal app and that's it and of course, you don't have to use either of these. Um, you can just go to the local store and buy a blank journal. You can buy, just use blank note paper. You can just use Word, Microsoft Word on your computer. Um, you, you, know, you can use anything, um, but these are kind of the, some of the popular options out there uh, to use for journaling. And I really encourage you to uh, take up this practice.